Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice problem. We have x to the power log x is equal to 100 times x. And we have to find the value of x. But before we begin, as always, pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. First, I want to get rid of this exponent. So I'm going to introduce log on the both side of the equation. So we have log x to the power log x is equal to log 100 times x. And don't forget that the log is in base 10, okay? Now I'm going to move this one to the front. So we have log x times log x is equal to, now from the properties of log, this could be written as log 100 plus log x. All right. Now log x times log x is nothing but log x squared. And this is equal to log, now 100 is the same as 10 to the second power then plus log x. All right. Now simplifying this further, we have log x squared is equal to, now I'm going to move this one to the front. So we have 2 times log 10 plus log x. Now since the log is in base 10, this whole thing is equal to 1. Okay, so we have log x squared is equal to 2 plus log x. Okay, now from here I'm going to equate everything to 0. So we have log x squared minus log x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now from here I'm going to set log x equals y. Okay, so the equation now becomes y squared minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. And this equation is also the same as y squared plus y minus 2y minus 2 is equal to 0. Because if you sum this whole thing, you still be getting negative y. Okay. Now we have y here and y here, so I can factor y out. So we have y into y plus 1, then negative 2 out. Then we have y plus 1 here as well, and this is equal to 0. So from here we have y plus 1 as the one of the factors, then y minus 2 as the other factor and everything is equal to 0. So we can say that y plus 1 is equal to 0 or y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now solving y from this equation, we have y is equal to negative 1 or from this equation we have y to be 2. Okay, and don't forget that we said that log x is equal to y. So when y is equal to negative 1, we have log base 10 of x is equal to negative 1. Now if I have log base a of b and this is equal to c, I can simply say that b is equal to a to the power c. Okay. So from here, since a is equal to 10 over here, I can say that x is equal to 10 to the power negative 1. Okay? And this is the same as 1 over 10. So we can say that x is equal to 1 over 10. All right? Now when y is equal to 2, we have log base 10 of x is equal to 2. Okay, now solving x from this, we have x is equal to 10 to the power 2. And this is the same as 100. So in all, we have x to be 100 or x is equal to 1 over 10. Now I have tested it, you must also try it. If you put these values into the original equation, you realize that they work. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.